Well, this is Matt from Ghost Town Blues Band, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Remember to keep it realistic. <laughs> Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. We're over here at the log. Last time I was here, I caught two crappie. So we're going to start out with that same magical lure, the Selmo Minnow. This is a small jerk bait made in Poland and it's one of my favorite baits to use when it starts cooling off. Let's see if we can find a few fish over here. We might get a crappie, we might get a skipjack or a bass. We're, here we go, fish on. Largemouth bass. First cast. Wow, I got a lot of hooks flying around, so I gotta I gotta go slow and take it easy. Check it out. First fish of the day right here. Got a quarter pounder with cheese. Nice little bass here. Went for that Selmo minnow. Yeah, good looking fish. Let's let it go. All right, that is something I did not catch last time I was here. That's a bass. So, let's see what else we can catch. Like I was saying earlier, we can get a bass like that, a skipjack, crappie, Big, aggressive bluegill or sunfish, yellow bass, white bass. You never know what you might catch over here at the log. We can also try a different lure like a gulp minnow maybe under a float on a jig head. I'm just trying to think it through. Hi, this is Nicole with The Last Cast with Tiktaalik, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Not a whole lot going on down here. I was hoping to find some more skipjack Maybe uh, some more crappie. Yeah, just not getting any bites. Got the one small bass so far. Maybe a swipe from a skipjack. I saw a bright flash earlier, but nothing since. I found this weighted float, a round float. And I found this weighted float, the cigar float. We'll go with this one. I think it'll be easier to take under because it's slim profile. We're using a micro jig head BG1 designed by iFish. Let's fish a couple in the danger zone. Oh man, I'm afraid I'm gonna get snagged. Oh, I had a bite though. It's so risky fishing it out there. There's more than one log now and it is snag central.
Lots of pontoon boats out today. Watching realistic fishing, and I just caught this fish. Keep it realistic. Come on, anyone? Oh, is that a bite? Was that a bite? Maybe. Maybe a bite, maybe a snag. Let's try it again, right around here. They didn't really smack it and take it under. It just kinda, I don't know, started going sideways. Got him. Got him. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. This is what I was looking for. Nice. Nice. Second fish of the day right here. There we go. We got a crappie. A black crappie. You can tell because he doesn't have any stripes. Let's lay it in my hand to get a quick measurement. That's about a nine inch crappie. Not the biggest crappie ever, but I'm happy to get one. Got this one on a gulp minnow. Fish number two. Let's let him go and keep trying. Oh, I had another bite. Wow, I'm all tangled up. This is what sucks about fishing in small areas, confined spaces. Sometimes you catch everything but the fish. <laughs> all right, let's keep trying. Pennsylvania and you're watching realistic fishing keep it realistic this approach just might work I got another bite there slow you got to go slow slow and subtle last time I was here they wanted that faster moving Selmo this time it looks like they want the slow drift of the gulp minnow. I give it a little twitch every once in a while, but we're working it slow. I'm just letting it drift in the current here. Oh, I had a bite. I overreacted. Got him. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got a jumbo this time. There we go. There we go. Now that's a fat crappie. Look at that. Yeah, nice. Nice. Much bigger than that last one. Let's do the hand measurement on this guy. Way up my wrist. 11 incher right here. Beautiful. Beautiful 11 inch crappie. Let's let it go.
That's two crappie and one bass. And we're having a good old time. Let's keep going. Can we find another one? Oh, that was a stick. I thought I had a fish. Oh, man, I lost my gulp minnow to a stick. All right, let's get a new one on. One more minnow. I'm running out of time, but I got time to fish one more minnow. Yeah, I got these on clearance. Gulp minnows for two bucks. And I'm out here catching crappie on them. I'm thinking we're going to head over this way. Maybe we can find something over there. Wow, this is a very narrow log. <laughs> Too narrow. I can't go way out there. I got to stand right here. Even right here, it's a little bit iffy. All right, let's try that again. Got him. Got him. What is this? Hey, a big bluegill. Nice big bluegill. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, yeah. Just about eight inches. Seven and three quarters inch bluegill here. Let's let him go and try again. Jumped out of my hand. Merry Christmas to you. Ho, 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 ho. And keep it realistic. So I started out with the small jerk bait and I caught one largemouth bass. I switched to the gulp minnow, caught two crappie, and a handful of bluegill. Crappie season is officially underway here at Realistic Fishing, and I hope I catch a bunch more in the days to come. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.